This is Dana with Designs by Denise, and I'm showing you my any teeny weeny braids that are going into lots. You guys who have been following me for over 14 months, you saw mine, and I get to do my first set on a client, and I am very, very, very pleased. Uh, this is about four or five, I think about six, seven, eight hours in right now, and uh, I only have this little ponytail area to go probably finish this tonight or tomorrow and I'm just very pleased and so I just wanted you guys to uh, follow uh, we're gonna do a journey with her first her first um, braids and, and I forgot to ask her before I started the video if she wanted to share anything about how her journey started or why she started it I just like to share because there might be some of you out there that might be thinking about what to do to your hair as far as being natural. And so maybe she would like to share. If not, I'll just cut it out if she says no. But uh, I know she loves to be a blessing to many people too. So uh, what do you think? Well, I'll share. Okay, go ahead. I wanted to get something different to my hair because I was doing the... Um, different type of hair that needed to be added to your hair and it started breaking my skin out the hair did and so I been doing some research looking to see what was good with natural hair and um, I wanted something that could be versatile though that I didn't have to have just one style all the time and I um, started reading about sister locks or the something similar to that and so Dana did my hair before, and I remember she had hair similar to it, and she was excellent with the health care of the hair. And that's what I wanted, someone that did good care for your hair, not just do hair, but maintain it healthy. And so I called her, and here we go. Well, I want you guys to follow me. I'll show you some pictures at the end. Some of you guys are trying to figure out what the heck does, why does she have gloves on her hands? Well, that's a whole nother story. I decided to start letting my nails grow hair cuts into those nails something fierce so I decided uh, about two or three months ago I started uh, wearing gloves doing my latch hook so this is the first time I did individual braids and I had a lady say how are you going to do individual braids with gloves so I was like I'll just do it so when I first started on her a couple days ago I was like I tried it what did it do cut my nails so I went back to the gloves, and here I am. And actually, you guys, I love it because the hair is sliding right through my hands, not cutting my hands. The grease and stuff is staying on the gloves, and I love it. I just absolutely love it. So I'm doing the three-strand, not the twist. I'm just doing the actual braids. I'm trying to work this time more on grids where I didn't do that with my hair, and um, I knew that. If I ever did it or did a starter, that I would try to be more in grids because it makes it easier when it's time to go back and do your tightening up. So um, I'll come back. Like I said, I'm not doing anything special, just braiding. I am making sure I braid all the way down as far as I can. And then I just twist the ends and then let the uh, coil, her own natural coil. And uh, it's beautiful. I'm very excited. So I'll be back. I'll have some still pictures in here of some before when we first started and then when it's all done. But uh, give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. The channel is very positive. You'll see things on here about cooking, hair. I'm a crochet designer, so anybody who crochets, I teach crocheting. And uh, that's about it right now. So let's, I'll get back with you. Guess what? I can't push the stop button, so my client's going to have to push it for me. Okay. Hey, you guys. I came across this issue here in front. And so we're trying to figure out how I could work with it. She's got an issue up here. See how short this is? Very, 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 very short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of little corn rolls right up here. But because it's very hard to grip, I'm using yarn. Yarn is a very good gripping 
uh, tool to use or, and then it also uh, when you oil your scalp and everything that's right goes right into the yarn and saturates and stays in the hair so we're going to watch this for a few weeks five or six weeks see what happens then I'll be able to take that out and see how much has grown and see if I can start braiding giving her her little ones I don't want a whole bunch of little ones like this all around the front of her face so we're going to try to give her a little creation up here so I'm going to do all of this see it goes from this long length right there to all of this being really really short all right, I just wanted to come back in there and let you see that. Okay, it's not stopping. Okay, we're at the end and where it was real short at, I just did a few little cornrows and I actually used yarn. So the yarn will curl. We just put some little um, rod rollers in there for a second to see, but she can just wet it up or put something on it and it will curl. Okay. So, this is the finish. Very pleased. Feels good. Alright. And we just did a little bit here in the front. And as it starts filling in, I think it's going to be good. Oh, you see some of my little oils up there in her hair right now. But... We'll do a follow-up in six weeks and see how it looks when we get ready to tighten it up. But I think she's going to be in love. All she's got to do is spray her scalp and uh, tie it up every night, and she'll be happy. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in six weeks. Be blessed because you're blessed by the best.